Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video we will be talking about Listeria species, uh, especially about Listeria monocytogens. And this Listeria monocytogens is a part of a gram positive rod. So uh, definitely these are free living and this is a rod. Okay, rod shaped bacteria. So the property, the first property you can write this is a gram positive, gram positive rods. Okay. And what we can see about Listeria monocytogen is that the stain very darkly, so the very dark, dark staining. So they take very dark staining here. Okay, and they are a kind of short rods. So they are short rods, not very large. They're short rods. That means if I draw their structure, it will look something like that. So it can be short rod like, like this. So you may uh, you may think that they are spherical, but they are not spherical. They are rod, short rod like that. And usually they can sometimes fight as diplobacillus like this, two rods all together. This kind of structure is called diplobacillus. So let me write it here. So you can find them as diplobacillus, diplobacillus. Or what we can see, we can also see that they are attached with one another to get a chain like structure like this okay so we can get short chains short chains like that okay these things can be fine okay so and uh, another thing is that they are intracellular kind of parasite so they are intracellular parasite that means they never comes out of the cell to infect they only can infect cells when they are inside so parasite so they are intracellular parasite in nature and they are catalyst positive and they are having a movement so they are having a movement and the movement is here so let, let me talk as tumbling tumbling movement can be seen for listeria so they are having that kind of flagella and they, they can have that tumbling movement Okay, they grow facultatively on various enriched kind of media. So we can see these are the major properties about the Listeria species. And among the Listeria monocytogens, we have seen all these things. So in the, under the microscope, we can see them as a diplobacillus or short chains like that. Okay, sometimes they, we can also see them as a separate bacteria, but very rare cases. Okay, and Listeria monocytogens is... Uh, Clinically significant because they can uh, be found. So let me talk about it. This is very very important. They can be found uh, almost. So they can be found in milk products or dairy products. Dairy products. As well as we can also find them in ground meat. In ground meat. So that is making them very very significant because in dairy products we can get almost 2 to 3 percent of this listeria contamination and in ground meat we can see up to 20 to 30 percent of the contamination which is a very high level of contamination by this listeria monocytogenes or listeria species now among all these different listeria species this listeria monocytogenes is found to cause any kind of disease in human being and the disease most of the time is prevented by our own immune system so this is not that much threatening for us but this kind of disease is life threatening for a pregnant woman so let me write it here it is uh, the disease disease is dangerous for one is a pregnant woman so let me write here so one is pregnant woman and they can be dangerous for immunocompromised people immunocompromised right compromised person okay otherwise this listeria infection can easily be treated by our own immune system it can be found the, the agent listeria monocytogenes can be found and it can be killed but in pregnant women it can be dangerous because in pregnant women before the delivery and during and after the delivery also newborn can also catch this kind of infection so from the pregnant woman newborn baby can also catch this infection 
right so that's that's a serious concern right because newborn baby is not having the immune system that much strong at that time so if infection thrives uh, we don't have any choice right but otherwise this is very very basic uh, very simple kind so we don't need to bother about much okay and also uh, this kind of disease actually they can cause any kind of uh, uh, what you can say uh, swelling of glands these are the different symptoms swelling of glands and in pregnant women it can cause severe several, several kind of difficulties and in, during the birth it it can it, it can uh, cause disease it can it can infect in vaginal tract so during the movement of newborn baby, uh, baby through that uh, they can catch this disease so this is in a whole about listeria monocytogenes and the very very important process or uniqueness of listeria monocytogenes is its incredible ability to be present intracellularly or to be transferred intracellularly right so we can see the intracellular so let me talk about it intracellular intracellular movement intracellular movement from one cell to another cell without being exposed to the extracellular surface so that is very very unique that is really unique uh, to this listeria monocytogenes and we are going to see this effect in future slides okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you